I painted myself white one day, stood on a box, put a hat at my feet, and when someone came by and dropped in money, I handed them flour and some intense eye contact. Welcome to another episode of the Untitled Podcast. Let's discuss the Dresden Dolls. What you are about to hear is deeply disturbing. By the red in my eyes and the bruises on my thighs and the knots in my hair and the bath full of flies that I'm not right now at all. There I go again, pretending that I'll fall. Don't call the doctors, they've seen it all before. They'll say, just let her crash and turn, she'll learn. The attention just encourages her. To Brian Viglione on drum. When I got to the party, they gave me a 40 And I must have been thirsty, cause I drank it so quickly When I got to the bedroom, there was somebody waiting And it isn't my fault that the barbarian raped me Have you ever heard of the Dresden Dolls? That sounds familiar. I want to do a show on them and talk about them, but their singer was Amanda Palmer. Mm -hmm. And Amanda Palmer and the Dresden Dolls, it was her playing keyboards and a drummer. And they kind of did this um, punk cabaret thing. See, I always had this fascination with, I'd see these old films and it would show like, you know, World War II Nazis and they would be like in a bar or something. And they would always have like this real Germanic Brecht kind of act on the stage you know it was like hard cold you know the way they would dress and everything well the dresden dolls took that whole concept and made it a band not that they were nazis had nothing to do with it It was more with the fashion and the darkness and all this stuff right and so the dresden dolls are really great and they put out two really excellent albums and so i'm going to drop in a song here called coin operated boy it's a really cool song it starts off like a novelty song but it just goes someplace else. Mm -hmm. And a really great first impression of the band. You'll either like it or you won't, but I think that you'll appreciate it either way and see that what they were trying to do is quite different from any other act out there. Coin operated boy sitting on the shelf. He is just a toy, but I turn him on and he comes to life. Automatic joy, that is why I want. A coin operated boy. This bridge was written to make you feel smitten with my sad picture of girl getting bitter. Can you extract me from my plastic fantasy?
operated boy. Basically, keyboards and drums. Right. They would play these epic versions of Black Sabbath mm -hmm. War Pigs, for example, and they would kill it. It had a punk attitude with it. I've played videos of them for drummers I've known. Guy playing the drums is kicking ass. Brian, just excellent. And Amanda Palmer's gone solo and they're still friends and everything, but she is like the consummate artist. Visually, the way she markets herself, the way she sells her music. She's used the internet in lots of ways. And she's married to Neil Gaiman, who is a famous graphic artist. And he made graphic comic books more of a serious thing. They did one called Sandman that's that's considered just a classic of the genre. Okay. You might think you know Neil Gaiman, but here are facts you may not have known about the comics master of dark fantasy. Gaiman has won a bevy of awards for comics and prose alike, including 15 Eisner Awards, 4 Hugo Awards, 6 Locus Awards, 4 Bram Stoker Awards, a Carnegie Medal, a Newbery Medal, an International Horror Guild Award, and a British National Book Award. Gaiman is currently married to musician Amanda Palmer, known for the band The Dresden Dolls. She also has this really cool song called Mrs. O, which I love. I'm going to drop that in here. Mrs. O, will you leave us hanging now that we are grown up and old? called Miss Me. Again, I think that these three songs will speak to, you get an idea of the band, whether you like it or not, but I think, I think you'll enjoy it. Cool.
If that song sounds familiar, you might go back and listen to The Trial, the last song off of Pink Floyd's The Wall. And to make it even clearer, listen to Roger Waters' demo. This is a clip from the Three Penny Opera. And you gentlemen can wipe off that laugh from your face. Every building in town is a flat one. Your whole stinking place will be down to the ground. On a dish cheap hotel, stand it up, save and sound. And you yell, why the hell's beer that one? And you yell, why the hell's beer that one? All the night through with the noise. And to do you wonder who's the person lives up there? And you see me stepping out into the morning Looking nice With a ribbon in my hair Then there she The black freighter Disappears out to sea And on So you can see that Amanda Palmer is not the only one influenced by Kurt Vile and uh, Brecht. It's a way of approaching music that hasn't been done too often before, but everything that's new is old. Have you ever thought about quitting Dresden Dolls? Funny you should ask. <laughs> this is a, this is probably like the last the last show for you know a while. Yeah, we're we're sort of like going separate ways after tonight. I arch my back cause I'm very close now. It's very cold here. I some school kids yelling and running I barely notice that I am coming the first orgasm of the morning 
You always write from a sad place? Is that easier for you? Yeah, actually, it's, Why? Way, it's way easier. Because I don't have any happy feelings that I need to work out. <laughs> They're fine. <laughs> the Dresden Dolls were part of an underground dark cabaret movement that started gaining momentum in the early 2000s. Their albums include the debut, The Dresden Dolls, released in 2003, and Yes, Virginia, in 2006. The band is on hiatus but are on good terms and they reunite occasionally when it feels right for both of them. has been produced by Donnie Shattuck. Cookers, those green egg cookers. Yeah. And we're walking by and he goes, that's about big enough to put a teenager in, isn't it? And this lady behind him kind of went, this, yeah, this is, this is him. Oh my God. This isn't taping us, right? Like speaking of all that conspiracy stuff.